Hey, it's 3.19 p.m. It's 7.20. I believe it's Thursday. Um, so let me tell you how my day went, okay? Um, I knew I had this job interview. It was a follow-up second job interview that I was supposed to go to. And I really do suspect that Terry Collins and Terry and Rick and Bruce and Jennifer arranged this particular job, okay? I don't want to hear from these people again, okay? Um, I woke up this morning to go to the job interview and I knew I was in a bad mood because of this bullshit. And I remember telling the, the representative, Natalie, I don't want to go into it, that I was being triggered by the, the, um, the um, <coughs> uniform issue. Now, it's not about me being a, a baby or a crybaby. It's just that I understand that these people had all these intentions of destroying my life. And so it's a, it, when I see this being played out in front of me, what it is, is I feel threatened because it's another trigger, okay? And I've already mentioned this before. I don't want you doing this to me anymore, okay? I want you to understand this, Terry and Rick and Jennifer and, and Bruce. I don't find what you do endearing. My heart is not softened. It will never be softened for you people, okay? What should have, been, what should have happened when I gave birth to my son is I should have put Bruce's name on the birth certificate, right? And I should have just got child support. But I didn't want to do that. You know why? Because you guys already told me you weren't going to do anything. And that's fine. Okay? I walked away from it. And I took the responsibility to raise my son on my own. Now, if you guys, like I said, if you jumped on my train, that's not my problem. Okay? But I have suffered enough for your bullshit. Okay? I don't like you people. And I'm never going to like you people. Okay? And I do not want you sitting here putting me in situations that I don't want to be in. Okay? And I knew today was going to be a bad day. And it was. And it was bad from the very minute I woke up. I'm tired of living for your fuck-ups and your mistakes. Now, like I said, what should have happened is if, if Bruce wanted to pay child support, he should have, we should have taken it to the court system. His name should have been put on the birth certificate. The state would have went after him and they would have garnished his wages. Okay, But what happened was my stupid mother and probably my dumb siblings got together and said, we're going to make up this decision. I didn't make that decision. I'm over the age of 18 when I gave birth to my son. I gave birth to my son when I was, I don't know, 22 years old. Okay, I was an adult, okay? And I knew what I was doing, and I was more than prepared to take care of my son. Now, you guys went it throughout the Lancaster community, and you guys always wanted to manipulate my jobs. You should have never done that. That's not my fault. So and every day I wonder, what would have happened had I just left the job at Edwards Air Force Base and just looked for a job in Lancaster? Because that's what I wanted to stay in the first place. You know, nobody wants to move out of their, their location. They want to stay wherever they can prosper. But you guys have always been in my shit, okay? And you ruined my life. And you continue. Going to that fucked up job interview is more of a reason for me to see, okay, here are these people again. Get out of my life, okay? I don't know what the rumors are or why you think that it's my responsibility to live my life contrary to my ambitions and my goals, Okay, I don't have a close relationship with my brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters are the ones who are responsible for making this arrangement with my mother. That was a big mistake on their part. That is not my responsibility. Okay, my responsibility was, was for me to raise my son. That was it. Okay, which I showed that I was taking responsibility to raise my son. Whether you liked my methods of doing it or not. I never asked you guys for shit. Okay, I knew I didn't want to go to this job interview today because it was going to trigger me. I knew it was going to be something abusive to me, putting me in a situation where I don't want to fucking wear a fucking uniform when I told you this before, because I'm not going to be, do not think that I'm going to be reserved for Bruce or anybody else, okay, because I find it abusive. I don't want the fucking job. And stop trying to change my life and sitting here adding your fucking shit to my stuff. I don't want it, okay? I am so sorry that I ever had anything to do with this family. I didn't do anything. Okay, I never said that I wanted anything to do with Bruce. Okay, I knew he was married to Sarah. That should have been his wife. And, that's when, and that was it. And I, I never interfered with that. Okay, but you guys interfere with my life all the fucking time. Okay, Jennifer, Bruce, I don't know what your fucking problem is. Okay, but I don't owe you anything. Because I never asked. Okay, you said that you took my accounting shit away. And then you said you want to dictate everything else I do. Get the fuck out of my life. Okay, it's your responsibility to clean up this mess that you caused. Okay, I don't ever want to go into any more triggering job interviews.
Okay, I don't, I'm sorry if you think I'm being a baby because I don't want to sit here and be reminded of something that happened to me 20 years over and over and over and over again. Okay, I didn't ask for that. You took my life. Today is the goddamn day that I want my life back, which I have every right to have. How much can you take out of a person's life? You destroyed my fucking life. I fucking hate you. Okay, don't think that I'm going to change my mind. All right, I fucking hate you. Okay, there, once you do something like this, there is no way in the world I am ever going to trust you again. So everything that will come out of your mouth will just go in one ear and out the other. I am not, will never trust somebody who would manipulate somebody to that point. Okay, if Bruce is married to Sarah, let that be his wife. He only needs to take care of her. I never asked for him to do anything for me. And you see, when you, when you have people do stuff for you, they start thinking, well, she needs to pay me back. I didn't agree to that. If I would have been told that this man is going to sit here and, and be a part of your life, choose your jobs, and manipulate your life in the manner that he does, I would have said no. I said no when he said, okay, you know, I'm not paying any child support. And I said, you know, I'm fine. I'm going to raise my son by myself. Okay? Stop making me pay the price for your mistake. That's not my fucking problem. It's not my, it's not my problem. Okay? This is my life that I cherish. I'm not, I don't believe in your Jehovah's Witness ways. I don't believe in like following my, the, the ways of my family. I don't care about my family. Okay? I don't care about my family. They put me in this situation. I don't ever want to see those people again. I am a woman all by myself who've been damaged and abused by people all my life. Okay? I want my life back. And I have every right to want that. Do not set me up with another fucking job interview that's going to be stupid like that. I don't refer you not set me up with any job interview. But you may have made it so where I can't get any other job or any other opportunity because of your shit. I don't want to do anything for you guys. Okay? I don't want to deal or be associated with Bruce. I'm sorry that he is such a Klingon. It's not my responsibility to change my life in any way, shape, or form for anyone. Okay? And if you made that promise, that's something you have to deal with. Okay? You're not supposed to make bets or sit here and, and, and do things like this on other people's lives. That's against the law too. This is my life. And I made sure that I said goodbye to the Jehovah's Witness shit 20-something years ago. Okay? Stop bothering me with your shit. Okay? I don't want to see any more. I don't want any more reminders. I don't want any more contact with that shit. Okay? I knew today was going to be a bad day and sure enough it was. Because I, I was letting this person know while he was interviewing you that I get triggered by the interview stuff. Ignore one ear and out the other. No, I'm sure these people are very nice and they're just trying to do their job. Okay? But I don't want that shit. Okay? I'm trying to heal. Every day I come in, well, not every day, but I come in here enough times making these videos about me wanting to heal. No more triggers. What do I get? Another fucking trigger. Fuck you guys. Okay? I don't like you guys. I don't ever want to see you guys again. I don't want you in my life. There's nothing you could ever do or say that's ever going to make me trust you. That's you, the Collins family, and my blood relations. To me, you guys are the lowest people on the goddamn earth to do something like this. Okay? I don't want Bruce. So you gave me some jobs and you ruined every single last one of them. Okay? You've done nothing for me in my life. Nothing. You've caused me nothing but pain. Leave me alone.